Forced from home and on its pleasures, the African coast I left forlorn. To increase the stranger's treasures, oh, the raging billows born. Men from England bought and sold me, paid my price in paltry gold. But though theirs they have enrolled me, mines are never to be sold. The year is 1807. Britain's Royal Navy has established a presence off Africa to enforce the outlaw of the Atlantic slave trade. The West Africa Squadron is supported by other nations granting permission to the Royal Navy to search their ships of slaves. The U.S. was involved when its constitution of 1787 protected slavery for a continuous 20 years. Along with that, an act was passed which imposed a $300 slave penalty on illegal slave importers. On December 12, 1805, Senator Roe Bradley proclaimed that he was to bring in a bill restricting the importation of certain persons into any place within the jurisdiction of the U.S. On December 16, 1805, certain persons was referred to as slaves. The Senate amended the proposed senatorial act and passed it on to the House of Representatives where it was thoroughly scrutinized. A bill which explained the senatorial act was placed before the President Thomas Jefferson for his commendation. The 15th Congress modified the 1807 Act of Congress and by this act transporting slaves was illegal. After the American Revolution, the U.S. struggled to stay afloat financially. Therefore, Alexander Hamilton established the Revenue Cutter Service. Initially, 10 cutters were ordered. Between 1790 to 1798, the Revenue Marine was the only armed maritime service of the U.S. From 1798 to 1801, in the Quasi War with France, the U.S. Navy was formed. The service fought along with the Navy, capturing or assisting in the capture of 20 French ships. After 1794, the service began intercepting slave ships, illegally transporting slaves into the U.S. The Revenue Cutter Service was ordered to enforce the Unpopular Embargo Act of 1807, which prohibited nearly all European trade using American ports. During the War of 1812, the Revenue Marines were under the command of the Navy. In battle, they captured the Brig Patriot. In the Mexican-American War of 1846 to 1848, the Revenue Cutters served once again under the command of the U.S. Navy since the Cutters were essential for amphibious assaults. During the American Civil War, the USS Harriet Lane fired the first shots of the maritime conflict and eventually broke off. Revenue Cutters assisted the Navy throughout the war under the command of President Abraham Lincoln. On April 15, 1865, Lincoln was assassinated and the Revenue Cutters were ordered to search all the ships for escaping assassins. President Woodrow Wilson signed into law the act to create the Coast Guard which joined the Revenue Cutter Service with the Life Saving Service.